World Time Attack Challenge is known to host the fastest time attack cars in the world. Aerodynamics has played one of the most crucial roles in the recent eras of the sport, with top teams enlisting the help of esteemed aerodynamicists to help design and extract every ounce of performance possible out of their platform. The Aero Wars have transformed the segment into machinery that might appear more at home at an airstrip than on a public road. The evolution from aftermarket bolt-on components and theoretical best practices to bespoke, data-driven motorsport-grade designs and composites was no accident, but rather a result of the relentless pursuit to break records. There is perhaps no one man more responsible for advancing the level of aero utilized in time attack than Andrew Brilliant. Coming from a diverse background of GT, Formula and privateer aerodynamic projects, Andrew's work can not only be found around the world, but also in the pits and garages of World Time Attack Challenge. The top ranks of time attack proved to be a unique segment of motorsport with an unrestrictive culture that allows for aerodynamics to flex their skill sets. This is the case with the Secura Motorsport Time Attack car, where the owner sought out to build the ultimate Lotus with the means to manufacture any complex design that AMB might put forth. Hi, I'm Andrew Brilliant, and I'm here today to talk about one of uh, my company, AMB Aero's creations, this beautiful Lotus Exige, owned by Matt Plowman. I want to talk about this project because I love this car personally. I just have a passion for this car, and we spent a lot of work on it, and it spent a lot of years in the making, so it's, it's finally being debuted, and I just think it's a fantastic example about aerodynamics as a package and what a time attack car can be. So a little bit about me. Um, so I guess a lot of people following this channel are from the US. Uh, I guess you can tell by the accent that I'm born from the States, California. And um, I was working in motorsport and I just loved Time Attack. I just thought it was so interesting. And I, you always dream about breaking the rules when you're working inside the rules or you get hit with the balance of power. Any of those things that happen in professional motorsport or, or IndyCar was, you know, the same chassis, everyone has the same car. And so you wanted to explore your creativity, explore um, all the facets of the car at once, and take things to the extreme, all those things that you dreamed of doing. Time Attack had all of them, so I, I just, I had to do it. So I got involved, I built my own car, um, then I got involved with some of the, the top teams in the US, and then went on to, to win in the US, and probably some of you know Life. Um, that was a car that I designed back when the company was just me. We're almost, getting almost eight, 10 years ago we designed that car um, and that was everything sort of led up to working on cars here at World Time Attack um, that sort of opened the floodgates of, of I think what was possible in Time Attack at the time and, uh, and I think Nemo was sort of one of the game changers with that and uh, but Nemo was Nemo was a car that had a lot of rules of what we could do and the rules weren't regulations but they were compromises that we had to be made during the, the design and construction of the car. Everything had to be the smallest number of molds, the least amount of money. Um, the chassis had already been built, so we had to design a car around those things. And we actually went and made changes to the chassis. Um, and we were, I think, the first people to really go and say, we want air to be like this, and this is what the car should be to, to have that arrow. And I think Nemo sort of changed the way people thought. And I think an extension of that is the advancement that's happened since those days um, there were a lot of shapes that we wanted to do, but we couldn't because it had to be able to be hand-formed and inexpensively constructed. So this Lotus, I, uh, one of the reasons I love it so much was because it was the first car we got where they would taken it to a composite shop that could make any shape we, we could design. So when, when Matt Plowman came to me about this build, I think 10 years ago, and he just wanted to build a proper car. It was just his dream to build a Lotus to the extent of what a Lotus could be done. And I actually used to have a Lotus and I loved the, the platform, so I was super interested in it. And he got on board with, um, with LSM Composites. Those are the guys who built the body. And that was really exciting for me because 
that was the first time to do a time attack car where the freedom of the shapes was like if you could draw it it could be made so they have a huge CNC and they can just cut out any tooling for any shape you want any complexity of shape so things like the the infinity wing design you know we didn't do that for why that wasn't seen in 2012 was because um, no one was building at that level to even design something like that back then so um, you needed that CNC you needed that the part complexity and it just wasn't there yet so this was really exciting for me just super happy with the way it came out you know we actually the car was actually built some years ago and then had a crash and had to get rebuilt so it's back again it couldn't be going better for, to it for us from the aero standpoint like everything's lining up everything's happy the owner's having a blast driving the car and you know it's, it's his first time out so i think it's gonna take some getting used to the car building up to doing a number but i think we'll see their times dropping over the weekend and and the car should start to see its potential in the years to come if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider supporting the channel and give this video a like. And let us know which car or tuner you'd like to see more of as we work on bringing you new content.